So today's video is actually sponsored by JSOX, J-S-A-U-X, I hope I'm saying that right, don't want to butcher the name, but JSOX actually has a few Steam Deck accessories and they have went ahead and sent me a few of them. And in today's video we're going to be checking out two cases and they also sent me this screen protector which I've actually been needing. So we're just going to dive right into these accessories. They did also send me a really nice dock for the Steam Deck, but we will be checking out the dock in a different video. So if you're interested in that, make sure you guys are subscribed, stay tuned for the dock coverage. For this video, we're going to be focusing more on the protective sleeves and cases they sent me. So let's dive right in. I'm going to get more of a hands-on view here so you guys can see exactly what these cases are like in hand. Here's another quick look at their screen protector. The packaging is pretty official. I do like that this is an actual Steam Deck screen protector. If you get a generic screen protector, you might run into issues like the one that I ran into where touching the screen does not work because of the thickness of your screen protector. I assume this one will be just fine, but we're gonna go ahead and peel the one I have on here and apply this one to make sure that this one works as intended, which I assume it will since it's actually meant for the Steam Deck rather than uh, this one here that is just a seven or whatever six inch whatever the size of the display is. so we're gonna go ahead and take this one right off this one's like look how easily that came off yeah inside you got your little card to flatten out the screen we got some instruction manual and what do we got here uh, installation auxiliary tools is this a one-and-done deal here Oh, they give you more than one. You got one, two. All right, so you got two screen protectors in here. I think I did a pretty good job. There's no bubbles in it. It fits perfectly and it feels really nice and smooth. Fun fact, I actually had a cat hair stuck inside my last screen protector when we were applying that screen protector on there. A cat hair got caught underneath and I never actually got rid of it. So finally, I'm able to get rid of that screen protector that was on there that was giving me a hard time to touch the screen. But now it feels like a little bit easier to touch everything. And navigate through the menu actually using the touchscreen. Yeah, way more responsive than the thick screen protector that I was using before. Next up we have this silicone soft material. It's basically a sleeve for the Steam Deck and it has grips on the handles and the handle area and it has some more on the back side too. So pretty interesting. Normally, I'm not a fan of the soft material, but I do like that this one has grip. I know a lot of people, though, do like having the little soft material silicone um, velvety feeling thing on their phone or their Switch or whatever they're using, and now they can have one of those on their Steam Deck. So let's go ahead and slip this right on. This thing basically fits like a glove. It feels like a glove. It feels very nice. I think I wouldn't like it as much, and I'll repeat myself over and over again, if it didn't have these textured grips on the side. Normally I'm worried cases like this are gonna make my devices look a little bit more bulky, but this actually doesn't make it too bad. It hugs it almost to perfection. Everything's cut out perfectly, and it doesn't actually bother me. I thought I was gonna be a little bit bothered and worried about how thick everything was gonna be, but pretty good. For this next one, they actually sent me this non-slip grip slash kickstand case. It has a clear matte back or a glazed matte finish on the back. What I really like about this one is whatever texture they used on these grips. This feels absolutely amazing. Once I get it on the actual Steam Deck, I will have a better feel for it, but just feeling the grips that this is using feels amazing. It does say that it's non-slip, so maybe for sweaty hands, this one is definitely 
going to help. And if you're just a clumsy person, this will probably help you as well. But the interesting thing is, this one has such a good grip, but it's also meant for you to use. I guess it's multi-purpose. You could use this to set your Steam Deck up like this. And it doesn't weigh very much. It's very light, and it's kind of flexible as well. It's not very super fragile. Like you're not going to drop this and break it. This should pretty much pop right into place. You might want to lift this up, make sure that's all in there. Unlike the Jelly one, this one doesn't actually cover the entire screen. I think this one's more meant for the actual grip part of it and to be used as a kickstand. What I found interesting is that this case particularly, which is from JSOX, doesn't fit in their JSOX dock. It doesn't actually fit into place, which is fine considering how easy it is to take on and off. And also, I don't know if you'd want to use a dock with a kickstand case. I feel like if you have intentions of using a kickstand case, it's because you're going to play on tabletop mode. The back actually looks pretty clean. I like that the Valve logo from the Steam Deck itself is visible through this clear back plate that this case has. And yeah, it looks pretty sick. Oh, V-Bucks. We're not buying any V-Bucks. But I'm going to go ahead and prop this up here, connect the controller, and show basically an example of what tabletop mode would be like if you're using a kickstand case like this one, which honestly, I would probably use this just for the grips that it has on the sides. It feels amazing. Let's go ahead and connect our Xbox controller real quickly. And just like that, it picked it up right away because I was already paired to my Steam Deck. All right, I finally loaded into a match. I'm just gonna go ahead and set this down right here. And this is pretty much how you'd play tabletop mode. The viewing angle is not bad. I can pretty much see everything that's going on. If you're playing a split screen game or anything like that, this would be perfect. And if you're using a controller and don't wanna play on the actual Steam Deck controller, this is a perfect fit. I rarely ever play my Steam Deck in tabletop mode just because I have to use something like this. And if I wanna use a dock, I only had a dongle before, so I have to use this stand and a dongle. No complaints about the viewing angle. If you're sitting in front of it, below it, anywhere, it, you can still see pretty much what's going on. It doesn't go any further than that. If you want to have it like flat on the table at that point, you might as well just set it down on the table that you're playing on if you really want to be above it. But if you want it propped up like this, if you're watching something or sharing your screen with someone playing a fighting game maybe and you just want to be on tabletop mode, this is perfect. I don't know if my old screen protector was just super dirty filmic or something, but with this new screen protector, everything looks just way more crispy and the clarity is clean as ever. Like, I feel like I could see better and that the colors are more like saturated or something. I don't know how to explain it. Is no one at Tilted? I'm here to, I'm here to run into trouble so that we can end this video on a good note. Somebody right here. Uh oh. Okay, okay, chill. And perfect. That is the JSOX case with a kickstand. If you found any of these accessories useful, interesting, or appealing, I will leave a link to the website where you can buy these. I will also be covering the JSOX dock in a separate video. If you want to see that, make sure you stay tuned for that video. Subscribe, do whatever you got to do. Just check out their little dock that they sent me as well. I do want to go more in depth with that, so I don't want to include it all in this video. This one's more about the cases and the screen protector. And just one last time, thank you JSOX for sponsoring this video, getting me finally a new screen protector that I've really been needing. In every other video aside from this one, I've said that I can't touch my screen because I have a screen protector that's too thick. They have finally solved my problem, so I can safely say the JSOX screen protector will solve the issue of uh, not being able to touch your screen correctly or not having a response from your screen because of your screen protector being too thick. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you, JSOX, once again. I will leave all links and everything in the description of this video. And like always, I will see you guys on the next video.